I know how we're gonna blend in. Don't say thrift store. Thrift store! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 thrifting hacks you need in your life. I love it because it's me. It's one of the ways that you can express your personality with zero words. You don't need a million to look like a million. Oh, thank you. And like Macklemore says, if you've got $20 in your pocket, then the thrift store can fill your whole closet. For this list, we're looking at some of the best tips and tricks to use when buying used clothing or secondhand home goods. Do you love thrifting? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Consider soiled or dirty items. One of the first things to keep in mind when thrifting is that first impressions can be deceiving. Is this too work a day? <laughs> it's easy to pass over a pair of sneakers or a piece of wood furniture because they're seemingly covered in a layer of grime. But the good news is that almost anything can be cleaned and restored to its former glory. It's always a good idea to clean anything you bring home from a thrift store, but accessories, kitchenware, and furniture can all look brand new with the right supplies and a little elbow grease. Look, this isn't Windex, but it's just as good as the store brand. No, no, it, it'd leave a film. The internet is your friend. Meanwhile, clothing can be thrown in the washer dryer or sent to the dry cleaner for some professional cleaning. Number 9. Learn to haggle. How much, quick? Well, it's for the wife. Oh, uh... 20 shekels. Right. What? There you are. Wait a minute. What? Well, we're, we're supposed to haggle. While some thrift store items are sold as is and the prices are not negotiable, lots of both large and small stores are willing to negotiate if an item is ripped, stained, or damaged in any way. $4 for the blender, please. Oh, shucks. But I only have three. Tell you what, I'll give you three for it and I'll pretend I didn't notice the calcium stains in the pitcher. You're scaring me. Consider this technique if you find something you really love that's a little out of your price range. Used items are typically imperfect in some way, so it shouldn't be hard to find a scratch or tear. While haggling may not get the price down every time, it definitely doesn't hurt to try. And who knows, maybe you'll be lucky enough to come out with a real bargain. I want this. I'll give you eight bucks for it. No way, the tag says 12. I only have eight. I think you're lying. Why? You have shifty eyes. Number eight. Follow stores on social media. One of the best ways to be among the first to know about awesome new finds is by following your local thrift stores on Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platform where they keep active. While some stores may not have a significant social media presence, others frequently post photos of newly stocked items. While you certainly won't be the only one seeing these posts, in some cases, you could even set alerts for your favorite stores to try to get a leg up on the competition. The the crazy what? Then, if and when you see something you really want, it can be worthwhile to call or message the store to see if they're willing to put it on hold for you. Number 7. Look for things to revamp. Sometimes you have a specific vision in mind for an outfit or home decor item, but you can't seem to find the perfect used version of it. Luckily, with a little creativity, almost anything you find at a thrift store can be completely revamped. Whether it's clothing or furniture, you can likely flip any item with some paint, a needle, and thread. When it comes to furniture, it's possible to swap out hardware, change the texture, and or change the color with a little bit of DIY ingenuity, some paint, and some hand tools. Look for items with good bones that are the right size and shape for your needs, and then go from there. Pedro, how do you feel about that one? It looks nice. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Number 6. Donate for coupons. If you are a regular thrifter, it's likely you have some things to donate after a while. Luckily, many stores offer incentives for giving donations, including coupons and discounts. And what were you interested in doing with this one? It's more donation. Are you donating this or are you selling them? By getting rid of items you no longer need, you can get major discounts on your next shopping spree. Ladies, you know what this means. Shopping! This tip works best for larger thrift store chains because smaller shops may not have a policy in place. Always check in advance to inquire about discounts given for donations because policies vary by chain and sometimes by individual store. There's no harm in asking and, in the end, may be even more worth your while. Number 5. Learn how to recognize high-quality, valuable items. One of the biggest mistakes that beginner thrifters make is focusing on finding brand name items from companies with lots of name recognition. Don't tell me, don't tell me, let me guess. Mm, Valentino Couture. Uh -huh. Sure, finding a used anthropology couch or Banana Republic wrap dress is a thrifter's dream, but it's important to go beyond the big brand and learn markers of quality. When you're still starting out, whether you're looking for clothing, home goods, or furniture, it's always a good idea to have your smartphone in hand. 
That way, you can look up brand names to get an idea of what the original price point was and whether it's worth your money. See, brand name. Brand names mean something. You can also find some tips and tricks to spot what makes certain things last longer or of higher quality. Oh my God, do you live in a banana farm? Number four, wear the right clothes. You are so infuriated. Please stop yelling. I'm not yelling. Oh, it's oh, perfect. Do you love it? When shopping for clothes, it's always important to dress carefully and consider what you might be trying on at the store. This is especially true if you're looking for something specific. For example, if you're hoping to find a dress to wear to junior or senior prom or an upcoming summer wedding, consider heading out with a strapless bra and seamless underwear as well as the heels you might wear with the outfit. You know, it's a it's a lot of underteat, but I think I'm getting away with it. Also, it's um, on backwards. You think? If you're trying to find a blazer for an upcoming interview, wear the rest of the outfit that you'll be pairing it with. Keep in mind you might not be able to try on your future purchases in a dressing room because not all thrift stores have them. Number three, learn vintage sizing. While many of the items you'll find at a thrift store were likely produced more recently, some vintage clothing stores stock plenty of items that are decades old. One of the key things to know when shopping for vintage clothing is that sizing standards have changed a lot over the years. As a general rule, vintage sizes are, at a minimum, four sizes smaller than modern sizes. So, for example, a 1960s dress that's labeled as a size 12 is probably closer to a modern size 6. Women's sizing is notoriously inconsistent, so it's always a good idea to try something on before you buy it, as well as to try on a few other sizes, whether that's bigger or smaller. Number two, ask about restock days. One of the best ways to ensure you're able to snag the highest quality vintage finds is by figuring out when your local store replenishes its stock. Every thrift store operates differently, but most will have standard restock days when they'll put new items on the rack and shelves. Ask an employee or manager when the store's restocks take place. That way, you won't be constantly going in to see if anything new has come in or not. Hot tip, some larger stores may restock continuously, in which case it's always a good idea to scope out restock carts to see if there's anything awesome you can grab before it's ever placed on the shelf. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, check the label. One of the best skills that expert thrifters possess is the ability to read and understand clothing labels. Material labels will tell you all about the fabric makeup, which is a great way to find high quality items. If that is indeed your goal, then you should focus on natural materials like cotton, wool, leather, and suede. There are also some useful websites that can help you out while you shop. Check out the label resource from Vintage Fashion Guild, which lets you match the actual labels you're trying to identify with photos of vintage labels from different brands and different eras. It also provides some basic information about the brands in question. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.